the spectacular scenery of Alaska forms a backdrop to its splendid isolation. There's a silence and calm to the country not to be found anywhere else. There's something very, very peaceful about floating the river. No noise, just the, the, the wind and the water touching the side of the boat. And this was more than just a grizzly bear hunt. This was a true adventure and a relaxing one at that. Still waters run deep, but around the next bend can be a sight that will set a hunter's heart beating like a trip hammer, especially when he's come north for grizzly. This is the very first bear Folkrod has seen, and now he must decide. A leggy bear, ears high on the head, flat back, nervous. I'm gonna take him. It's a gift from the river, but the signs point to a bear with years to grow. I think we can do just a little better than that. That was exciting though. Man, we drifted right up on him. If that ain't exciting, I don't know what is. It's hard for me to turn something down. Traveling to an Alaskan hunting area is an adventure in itself. It's like game time. There's no such thing as non-stop service to Unalakleet near Nome in northwest Alaska, where Folkrod will be hunting with Norton Sound Guide Service and outfitter Vance Grishowski. It's a great area. There's been a lot of huge grizzly bears taken out of this area. See an unlimited amount of country. There's very few people. It's uh, going to be a great hunt. This isn't Folkrod's first hunt for grizzly in Alaska. In the past, he's gone after bear on horseback and has had considerable success in the process. Yeah, she's still snowing, but we're out looking. Hold on, Bob, there's something moving up there. What did you see? Something up there in the brush. Yeah, it looks like a bear. This wasn't just any grizzly. Bob and his guide found themselves stalking up on a true giant. This was a quarter-ton Ursus Arctus Horribilis, and Folkrod had one shot to put it down for good. Goodness sakes, is that pretty. A bear hard to equal. Hey. In Unalakleet, though, Folkrod would like to try to equal it. But first things first, and in Alaska, getting to where your hunt starts doesn't always mean that you'll be able to start your hunt. Good news is we're here. The bad news, none of my luggage made it. Everybody there got their luggage except Bob Folkrod. Somebody must have decided that Folkrod needed the odds to be a little tougher against him to make a great hunt. Everybody else has their gear though and won't be waiting for Bob, not even his wife, Sheila. Well, I tell you what, my little lady, from the time she got off the airplane until we got in the boat, she was just like a kid at Christmas time. Getting ready to go up forever, not grizzly. She's got a day jump on me and maybe we'll have to see what she does, but we'll have to catch up with her for sure. After losing my luggage, we got in the boat, went up to Vance's fishing lodge. If Bob knows one thing, when the going gets tough, the tough go fishing. We got nine more days to make this trip happen. All you have to do is just remember what the trip is all about. It's making memories and friends, and it will happen. Just give it a chance. Just chill out, give it a couple extra days. That's why you're here and enjoy Alaska maybe take in some fishing. Our main objective here is definitely going to be to get a great big old grizzly bear, but in the meantime, we're going to have a little fun sport fishing on the Unicleet River. It's got fabulous fishing. I grab a fish pole, I start fishing, you look up and there's a black bear straight across the river from you. I mean, that's hard to put into words right there. I mean, it was like teasing me. It knew I didn't have a tag in my pocket. And you just kind of take it all in. And then all of a sudden it grabs a fish and runs off into the bushes. That's being in Alaska. I'm making memories now, boy. It'll be in my memory bank for a long time. If his luggage never arrives, at least Bob saw a bear and landed a dandy fish. What does the guy do when he's waiting for his bag to come in? Catch his fish. Silver salmon. <laughs> All right. Hopefully the luggage is here tomorrow and we've only lost one day. Other than that, welcome to Alaska. Day two, and maybe luck's changed. And out of the blue, Bob's <laughs> gear is here. 
Vance went into town the next day. Guess what? He's got my luggage. I hate fishing. Now it's time to hunt and fish. That's what I came here for. It's great hunting. It's always exciting. You never know what you're going to see. Two young bears swimming. Not the kind of grizzlies you want to take, especially when you've made it a point to bring a very special rifle to handle the right bear with. I pulled my dad's 375 Model 70 uh, out of the safe. Uh, he bought that when I was 14 years old. And uh, I always listened to him say, someday, son, he said, I'm going to go kill a bear with that. Of course, he passed away, and I'd bring that gun out, and I'd look at it, and I thought, boy, this would be a neat trip to bring that gun up onto. Big and potentially dangerous game like grizzly bear call for big time stopping power. Folkrod is hunting grizzly with his 375, but the 460 SW Big Boar handgun is also packed and loaded with the Winchester Supreme Elite Dual Bond Bullet. It's the bullet that can drop a 600 pound grizzly in its tracks. Dual Bond provides superb penetration and nearly 100% retained weight. Winchester's groundbreaking bonding technology welds the core to the jacket. And then, a second heavy outer jacket is mechanically bonded to create a revolutionary bullet within a bullet for deep penetration and dramatic stopping power. And the 12-segment expansion ensures maximum stopping power. The river, when you looked up, there was another one on the other side. This is Sour Cup. It has been said, to the lover of pure wilderness, Alaska is one of the most wonderful countries in the world. No excursion that I know of may be made into any other American wilderness where so marvelous an abundance of noble, newborn scenery is so charmingly brought to view. Alaska is a land of auroras, the most glorious of all the terrestrial manifestations of God and of great bears enjoying salmon and berries. For Bob Folkrod, bears, grizzly bears, are only part of the adventure as he and guide and outfitter Vance Grzowski of Norton Sound Guide Service run the Unalakleet River in northwest Alaska. And every bend and eddy on the river promises something new to experience. One thing about being on the river, you never know what you're gonna run into. Oh my God, he looked like a little bear. Look at the size of that guy. And I've seen some beavers, but I want to tell you what, this is about as big a beaver as I've ever seen. <laughs> we had our own TV set watching these beavers for almost two hours. And anyway, we had to leave them because it's our turn to go float down the river. And we hadn't floated a half hour. And around the corner, there's a grizzly bear. Just the way it's supposed to happen. Bob may have missed his best shot at a bear, but his wife Sheila's ready for hers. She did her homework at home, she practiced. We had just floated into camp and we could hear her coming. Johnny's got his arms up, you get him? <laughs> I was so proud of her. <laughs> we got an awesome bear. You get a good shot? Yep. We're good, you give me a big hug. You should see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one that Vance lost his voice on telling me to shoot. It was getting dark, you know, and they didn't want to go in after him, especially a bear that size. So we all went up the next morning. The next morning, they returned to where Sheila shot. And the first thing their search uncovers is her crossbow bolt with blood on it. Sure sign of a through and through wound. They make the tent stalk into the thick cover 
but soon find that Sheila's aim was true. I think I see a little tear in one corner of her eye. She was so happy. And this wasn't just a bear, folks. This was, I mean, this was a big world-class bear. I mean, unbelievable. And it got down and taking pictures. And oh my goodness sakes, I was so proud of her. What a nice husband wife photo. Even though her bear is huge. <laughs> yeah, compared to mine. Well, we're gonna fix that tonight. Bob's truly happy for wife Sheila, but now even more eager to take a grizzly of his own. It's the luckiest bear in Alaska right there. I got every tag you can think of except a black bear tag. <laughs> and it was almost like the first evening. We hadn't been floating long, we come around the corner. He didn't look that much bigger than the first bear. Days of hunting on northwest Alaska's Unalakleet River have not yet produced the grizzly Bob Folkrod has been looking for. He wants a bear that'll be a match for his father's 375 Winchester, so he's not about to give up. As long as there's any time left, Bob and guide Vance Grishowski of Norton Sound Guide Service are going to keep on trying until that one grizz they want comes into view. Fantastic night. We'd seen some bears and had a great float. We only had another bend or two. And we come around that next bend and boom, there he was. That's the one we was looking for. There was no asking, is he big enough or not big enough? This is the bear we were waiting for. Dad's old 375 was shouldered up and I just kept following him, following him and I didn't think he'd ever give me the shot and I'd taken a couple deep breaths because I could feel my heart rate start to take off and that's like a warning sign to me when that starts to beat that heart. Take some deep breaths, patience grasshopper, let him give me the right shot that I wanted to. That's the way that's done. Yes. We got ourselves a bear. Uh, not just a bear, this is the one we was looking for. This is a fantastic trophy right here. A big old grizzly bear in Alaska. Wow. Wait, <laughs> Jump on me. Yes. That's a big one. It's a big bear. Woo. Yes. Coming around this corner, drifting down through seen him and boy, he was just walking up the beach and I wanted to wait till that front shoulder got there. <laughs> oh, 375, my dad's 375. Man, I'm telling you, I'm so happy. That's how adventures are made right there. There's a bad boy right there. 300 grains of Winchester lead right there, boy. That's a big old bear now. We walked up and looked at him and all of a sudden Vance is saying, Come on, let's roll him over for in the morning. I said, what do you mean in the morning? We got, we're at, what about right now? He says, hey, we got a ways to go yet and we don't want to go down this river in the dark. Man, it looked like it was going to be another evening without a grizzly bear. And we come around that next bend and that's the one we was looking for. There was no asking, is he big enough or not big enough? This is the bear we were waiting for. He finally turned to give me that angle shot. I went in that 375. Boom! 
shell came out flying, backed up again, following. Boom! That's the way that's done. Yeah! Well, it was a hard deal leaving that bear lay on that beach all night long, but we had to get down that river before it got dark on us. He didn't shrink. There was no ground shrinkage on this bear when we got to him. It was just as big as when we left him there. This hunt Good was shot. this hunt was pretty special, my friend. Hey, not only really, dandy. My second hunt with you. And we did this with my dad's 375, you know, so he was there with me last night. It's uh, That's what hunting's about, making memories right there. We made them today, didn't we? It's a dandy. Yeah, look at his foot on to him, his claws. Look at the foot on that guy. Just so I remind you, this is, we're not hunting brown bear, this is a grizzly bear. The battle wounds right there, and his old ears all tore up, and fighting. In the wilds of Alaska, my dad's 375 Model 70, hey, it made memories, at least it did for me, and I hope it did for you. I'm Bob Folkrod, and thank you for watching Winchester Legends.